That is a stupid goal. Here he is! Mayor B! My bad, B. Sorry, buddy, but I'm gonna give your ass a cramp. By the way, he won't have... I, I'm, he will have Shadow Pokemon here, but he won't have the Swine Up, because as I've already said, I've recut it off screen. So then... Let's see, do I, do I even have any Pokemon? Okay, I just put away the one Pokemon that can take on Lombrin. Fucking great. Well, then what are you gonna do? Uh... Yeah. I should probably just try taking out one at a time. How do you miss? Oh, God. Next, they're probably gonna start throwing Leech Seed, too. Bye, Gone. Oh, wow, you're still kicking. I'm surprised. Ah, uh, you'd be dead if fucking Auron would be smart enough to hit. Or just gone, but still. That leftovers really came in handy, huh? Right, you have to hit this time. If only Ice Pokemon had resistance to grass, I think that would make a lot more sense, too. But nope! Ooh, just there. Come on, take out the Lombre. You can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you, Gon! Yes! The fact that you miss in general is just fucking stupid, to be quite honest. And dead. And another Ice Beam! Griffle out! Sweet, okay then. No. No? Wrong fucking button. Ice Beam, er, should I use... No. I'm gonna use... Because there's a chance of fucking gone being stupid and not hitting, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using uh there you go. I'm gonna keep using uh Avalanche. Can't think right now. I'm sorry if my commentary is being very boring. I'm not trying to make it boring. Don't hit gone. Don't hit gone. Then he gets a steel type. Thank you. Ice Beam, motherfucker! Dead! No oh, one knows pass! Wait a second. Huh. I'm pretty sure I caught every Pokemon, so I guess this. I guess Mirror B just randomly has this nose pass. Nah, whatever. Alright then, if that's true, he's gonna be a bitch. Um. Use Water Pulse on the Lombre. Hopefully, I can make sure it doesn't kill. Gone or Avalanche. Or not, because I forgot they're faster. I'm trying to paralyze it, which is my idea. Not paralyze it, confuse it. Think, Michael, think. I'm pretty sure Nose Pass doesn't have very good special attacks, so yeah, that's not gonna do that much damage. You got you gotta think smarter than the Mirror B. What? But I thought Oh, I was really stupid, wasn't I? Yeah, I was stupid. For some reason I thought it was like ice. It was like uh ice beam. It was super effective but not very effective at the same time, so it was normal damage, but no, I'm just stupid. 
Uh, I'll use Water Pulse on you and I'll use Take Down on. Please hit yourself, please hit yourself. Damn it! If I want to use Dead. Should have said Gone's Dead. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, just fuck you. <sighs> Alright, Elegant, get your ass out there. You just didn't need to evolve, too, so. Hopefully this can kill you. Damn it! I don't like it steals Pokemon. Curiosity-wise, what happens if you try taking it? It's no good. You need the snag machine to snag the Pokemon. Okay. Just curious at what it has to say. Cause I know somebody's probably gonna ask. What happens when you don't have it, Michael? Alright then, so use what move do we use? Actually, it'd probably be smarter to use Ice Beam on you, and then use Psychic on you. Because Nosebass can hit both of them, and more than likely can kill, it'd be able to defeat uh, Avalanche in time. And yeah, Avalanche got the level 50. Woohoo. Cheers and stuff. And there is the legendary Lumicolo. You never fucking hit yourself. Everyone else hits themselves but you. Ah, Pokemon's such a cheap game. Well then, we don't have that many members left now, do we? Thunder Wave on you, and Psychic on your ass. Actually, thinking about it, Calm Mind's kind of like the new Amnesia, if you think about it. Because Calm Mind is, uh, in case you didn't know, or you should know, I've used it before, it increases special attack and special defense. And technically, Amnesia in the very first game did both, because special was both attack and defense. Which sucked, but it was still something. But, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Which is kind of cool, so considering the fact that you kind of need it. Um, I use Thundershock. I use Psychic on the Ludicolo. Finish your ass off. And Kerplow. Fuck you, Lotad. Fuck you. I never noticed that. Mirror B is wearing heels. Or are they different for guys or something? Luckily it doesn't have uh, a rain dish, though it does have swift swim if it doesn't. Which is an ability which allows it to move faster in the rain. Ludicolos are pretty powerful considering... If you go online, you can find a guy who plays as "quote unquote" Mir B in Pokemon Revolution. You ask him the, you ask him uh, to be a certain trainer, and then uh, he does a battle thing online, making a character and making a team from that character. And he had one completely made out of Ludicolos, and he kicked this starter slash legendary fags ass. I hate those kind of people. That's why I never play online. Not only that, but at first I wasn't really that good of a person that played Pokemon, but now I'm actually a more smarter player in Pokemon. Which, funny enough, you really don't need to be. Like, if, I mean, if you're playing against other people, obviously you're going to try using the best Pokemon at your disposal. But, um, you know, if, if you're just doing regular, regular stuff, as long as you're not using all your Pokemon or being horribly underpowered and stupid, it's not that bad. And I skipped that, I apologize. You're gonna have to pause that and read that. Or I could pause it, I could do a snapshot and pause it for you. There you go, have fun. 
Ah, fucking hell. Alright, let's go talk to the Cypher guy. Hopefully he doesn't turn on us. I don't really have a team to fight him with right now. It took a little kid to find that fucking thing. Wow. Alright, you. Yes, I am. Key lair. Oh, the one place where Zook was. It produces shadow Pokemon? Mass produce? Ooh. So they don't tell these guys their jobs before they hire them? Okay. That is me. Oh, does you have a Togepi? Sure, I'll purify it for you. I love that it does the catching noise for you. No problem. Now then, this is just a regular Togepi. Uh, Togepi's not that good of a Pokemon. Seiren Glace promotes added effect. I have no fucking idea what that does. Please explain that in the comments. Shadow Rave, a Shadow Roar, and... In the ground is used to launch spikes. I think it's like a spike ver- wait, is it like a spike version of spikes? Or a shadow version of spikes? Uh, shadow roar. Or, or it could just could be a regular move. And shadow roar eliminates reflect and similar moves. Shadow shed, yeah, yeah. Cool. So then. Hey, I got another message. We've located Team Snaga. They've been operating out in their old hideout, north of the outskirts stand. We don't know the size of the group or much about the leader Gonza. Be careful if you're going there. Thanks a lot, dude. Yes, I am. How do you know that? Okay. I'll believe that. What? Oh yeah, that was me. Fine. I could heal up my Pokemon, but I should show off my skill right now. Uh, reminiscent times of, uh... Coliseum, right? This is the same guy. And he carries Zongoose again. Er, not Zongoose, six ago. Zongoose, wrong Pokemon, Michael. Elegant and Bolt. Prepare to kick ass yet again. Call mine, and I'm gonna cure her too. Him. I don't know, I get. I. I. I would complain that Elegant isn't a female-only Pokemon, but the simple fact that in the fourth gen it does evolve into a Pokemon that has, uh... It does evolve into a Pokemon- Oh, fuck you. The one time that thing's fucking useful. Though it does evolve into a Pokemon that is, um... Oh, that's bullshit. How am I supposed to know which one's which? God damn it. That's- that's fucking stupid. Thank God. It's usually the opposite for some reason. The top one's on the top, and the bottom one's on the... Or, the, the top one's on the bottom, and the bottom one's on the top. Compared to what you see on the screen, and on the... On the avatars, and on the actual 3D animations. And there's the Evolve form. Linoon. Psychic, bitch. I call mine Psychic, too, which means you're more likely going to die. Yes, you are. Love you, Calm Mind. And Bolt's gonna get punched in the face here in a second. Hopefully this thing doesn't have great attack. And wow. And I was worried there for five seconds. Kick. Kick. 
Ooh, a critical hit. Ouch. And he's dead. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Well, you use that on that. And, uh... Nothing I can do. Fuck it. A little bit more powerful. About double damage. As before. And kill you now. He's dead. Seasoning. I don't think people talk like that, but okay. But yeah. He's just like he was in the last game. It's just like it goes. He just he, is this. He's just talking to him, or, he, or or we just got done having a conversation, and the game decided to put us in a little bit later. But yeah, you're tough. Huh? Thanks. That was a pretty nice compliment. All right, then I'm going to go heal my Pokemon, and I'm going to take the long heal just for the simple fact that. I'm gonna take the long heal just for the simple fact that uh, I want the Poke Spot to activate. Hopefully, we can find that Bonds Lie if possible. Though I'm not sure if that'll actually help at all. I could be wrong. Maybe we don't need to put it in the Poke Spot. It's been a while since I played this game, and I do forgot this part of the game. How we do get our hands on that Bonds Lie. Oh, I do love the beat. XD and Ga XD and Coliseum, you do have some beautiful music. Well, this might might not be considered beautiful, but still good. Just love that fucking tune. Do 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 do. This guy, does this guy sell revives? I need to pick up some revives. Oh, and I forgot to drop off that Toka Tick. Yeah, you do sell some revives. Give me like four more. Just to be safe. And one thing I forgot to do is drop off drop off that Tokapi inside of the purification chamber. I would normally keep it with me. Actually, how much have we already healed of that Tokapi? Not much. But yeah, I recommend just dropping this off inside of the little area. This is a little, mostly a side quest. It's like one of those side quests that kind of connect to the main quest of a game. But that that only becomes uh, apparent after you purify the Togepi. And I'll talk about it. Because there are some goods and bads from it. Anyway, party. Since Togepi is a normal type, it's great to put it in this one, because as I've said, uh, to also increase the flow of these, uh, of the, um, set, set arrangements is to have it so that the Pokemon is super effective against the one it is pointing to. Sadly, it doesn't allow you to direct which one it... Wait, nope. Thank you. Cool. Two birds, one stone. Though, there's no way to allow you to change it to face a certain Pokemon, which sucks. You really have to change the whole fucking thing around just to do that. So more than likely, you're not going to use that to your advantage just for the sake of time. Which really sucks. But other than that, if you can use it, use it. It's useful. And that Tokopi should purify pretty fast. I should stop snapping, because more than likely, because of the way I sink, it's going to be horribly offbeat. <laughs> Alright, time to hit Team Snagum's base. Team Snagum's base is apparently still in use, even after it was destroyed. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe shut down, but destroyed? 